Okay, so I'm another one of those people who bought an Inspon um, 9400 with the GeForce um, NVIDIA GeForce 7900 card, which, I mean, I love as a laptop, even today, um, uh, it's five years old now, I think, um, with 2010, early 2010, and the 7900 is an awesome graphics card, albeit without HDMI output and supporting other things. So here's a card, um, came out of there, there's a heat sink. And um, I'm about to just preheating the oven to 200 degrees C. It's going to take a while. I can't see anything in this kitchen, but there's the oven. Um, and where's my tray? What's it? Anyway, so I'll let you know how it goes in a minute. Okay, so um, here we go. It's 200 degrees C. I've got my Nvidia G. Basically, I've got artifacts coming up on my uh, Instagram, and um, and then it won't load up. It starts trying to load up and gives up. So the graphics card, preheated oven with a baking tray, a grease big paper in there, and voila, let's go. Ten minutes. In there, in the other. That's my GPU. In the other. I've opened the door recently. You can see it's uh, 200 degrees. See. Looking at. Okay. Temperature up. Now my understanding is. Um, that we don't want it to uh, cool down too fast because I well, I don't really understand how it works, but there's a few theories I've heard. One that there's um, uh, the memory's got some kind of some, there's something in the memory that it can't let go of, and it causes it to bug, and this in some way just makes that bit free up, um, but it doesn't really make sense to call it reflow at that point. And the other thing is these cheap PCBs have got they've got pins, they've just got like a little bit dog sort of um, solder which been hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, aged and they become rather, um, and they've just cracked and so you've got basically a solder joint missing somewhere in the circuitry and all we're supposed to do is melt that solder back open and, and get stuck in. So what I've done is then um, I'm going to leave it to cool down, I'll let the oven get cooler and then I might shut it again and I'll probably let it cool down over, the, over at least half an hour. Uh, I think just in case, since it took an hour or so to get that, that lot of part over there. So uh, let you know what happens. If okay, so this video card has been cooked. I mean, the only thing amazing me is, is this is I thought it was a bit of paper. I started tearing them off, couldn't get them off. But these are obviously heat-proof labels as well. Anyway, so I'm about to install this back. Look, and there you have it. Um, initially, it came up with all sorts of weird garbage, almost the same as how I left it when I thought I was broken still. And then um, I turned it off, and I was about to take it apart, and I thought I'd do it a bit later, and then I pressed the button again, and it came up a bit better. So there is a kind of like uh, turning it off, turning it on thing that seems to get better and better. Uh, there we go. It's working. Can't believe it. That gives it I, the A10 BIOS update, which is supposed to, it's supposed to control the fans, oh. and uh, I'm supposed to be able to un lower the clock speed, which I'm going to do as well. Uh, so the cookie last longer. Can't believe it. Good news. Um, and I'll give you a date for when it happens again. Because I did have this refloat professionally about four or five, maybe six months ago for a hundred quid.